Hi, it's Rich from Planet PE. Have you got an exam on Friday? Probably, it's why you're here. So let's have a look at some quick fire revision. So each of these videos are gonna be quite short, looking at specific areas, and you can then skip to the different ones as you see fit. So let's start the muscular system. So you need to know that there are three different types of muscle. We have skeletal muscle, we have cardiac muscle, and we have smooth muscle. So our skeletal muscle is the sort of muscle which is gonna be responsible for us to move. Your smooth muscle is the sort of muscle that you're gonna find in your digestive system and we can't consciously control it. And then we've had cardiac muscle, which is pretty great because it doesn't fatigue very easily. And also, we don't really get to choose when it beats and when it doesn't. However, we can influence it depending on how we exercise. So those three different types of muscle. Skeletal muscle is pretty important for us. Not only does it give us the strength and the ability to move, actually it gives us the shape and support that we have. So the reason that we are the shape that we are is typically because of our bones, yes, but also our muscles. Now our muscles are really, really key for our thermoregulation because actually they're the things that tend to keep us warm. So we have you know, some um, different actions such as shivering but also the fact that the blood is moving around around those muscles which is going to help us to support our body temperature so the major muscles of the body is something that you absolutely need to know for your BTEC exam now there's lots of ones to go through and we just don't have enough time but what you need to look at in your revision is what are the functions so actually what movement do they create when they are responsible for the uh, for the movement so for instance the bicep creates flexion at the elbow you need to understand where they're located, the origin and the insertion, and then finally, which sort of exercise would that fit into? So those sporting examples. So you're gonna be asked things like kicking a football, maybe bicep curls, possibly the press up. So those are common movements. So please make sure you go over your revision notes and have a look at those, because they're the key, key ones. Let's use the bicep curl as our main example. So you need to understand how muscles actually work together to create movement. So they work in what we call antagonistic pairs. And what that means is that we have one muscle which contracts and shortens and the other one which, which relaxes essentially and lengthens. So in the bicep curl, the bicep is responsible for the upward phase of that movement. So as I'm bringing it towards my body. Now with that, that's causing flexion at the elbow because the bone is being pulled by the muscle because muscles cannot push they can only pull now there are other muscles which are also aiding that mo that muscle movement to happen so the fact that i'm going to be doing performing a bicep curl means that i need to be able to do the correct movement now that means that we need something called a fixator and the fixator in the bicep curl is the deltoid muscle so the one in the shoulder and what the fixator actually does is holds the joint in the right position. So if I was doing a bicep curl and I had loads of shoulder movement going on as I did it, it wouldn't actually be a bicep curl. It would mean that I'm probably working the wrong muscles and we can't isolate that particular movement. We've also got something called a synergist. Now a synergist is something which is assisting the movement. So it's actually kind of helping it out so we can perform that movement better or actually recruit the right muscles for that. So in the bicep curl, actually, the trapezius is the fixate, sorry, is the synergist. So therefore, that is actually helping the movement to happen, okay? So really, really quickly through there, we've had the three different types of muscle. We've had some tips about what you need to know and where we need to look at. And then we've looked at antagonistic pairs as well as the fixators and the synergists. So really quick fire. And if you want to carry on watching, the next video is all about the different types of muscle contraction. So if you want to watch that just carry on watching make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one